Hello, my name is John Slope. I'm the Associate Provost for Educational Technology here at Vanderbilt. Vanderbilt has a lot of digital resources for faculty that will be useful for both their teaching and their research. And they're in a lot of different places at the university, and so we thought we'd put together this video as a way of introducing you to some of those resources, where to get them, where to find support. With that, I'd like to start by turning this over to my colleague, Derek Bruff, from the Center for Teaching. Thanks, John. At the Center for Teaching, through individual consultations and workshops and programs, we work with uh, instructors at Vanderbilt to help them develop and refine foundational teaching skills and explore new teaching practices. Educational technology often falls in that new teaching practices bucket, and we regularly work with instructors, uh, helping them think through ways that technology might meet their teaching and learning objectives. That reflects our philosophy of educational technology, which is that the, the teaching and learning needs to drive the technology use. Individual teaching consultations, that's our bread and butter at the Center for Teaching. Um, we meet with instructors of all kinds regularly to help them um, uh, help identify their teaching and learning objectives and identify strategies, teaching strategies, including technologies, that will help them meet those goals. Our uh, consulting staff consists of assistant directors and some educational technologists. Um, most of them have faculty experience. Most of them teach regularly here at Vanderbilt, and we all engage in the scholarship of teaching and learning in various ways. The Center for Teaching is the administrative home to Blackboard, Vanderbilt's course management system, um, and it's also the place to go if you have any technical or pedagogical questions about Blackboard. If you're interested in um, how you might use particular Blackboard tools effectively in your course, or if you've got a technical problem or an error of some sort, the Center for Teaching is the place to go uh, to, with those questions. We offer support via email and phone. We do drop-in uh, con uh, consultation hours. Um, we do workshops as well. And we've got an extensive set of resources on our website um, for kind of on-demand help as you need it. If you have uh, questions about Blackboard, uh, you can uh, send them to us either via email, blackboard at vanderbilt.edu. Uh, we have a phone line as well. And our website, www.vanderbilt.edu slash blackboard, has all those on-demand resources that I just mentioned. Another educational technology program we host at the Center for Teaching is the BOLD Fellows Program. BOLD stands for Blended and Online Learning Design. And in this program, teams of faculty and graduate students come together to design, implement, and assess online learning modules for use in Vanderbilt courses. So you can imagine the so-called flipped classroom where students engage in some um, online learning activities, maybe some readings, some videos, some assessments that prepare them for in-class active learning. Um, our Bold Fellows program can help you uh, design those online pre-class materials in ways that are consistent with how people learn and good uh, instructional design principles. As I said, the uh, pedagogy always needs to drive the technology use, uh, but sometimes instructors find out about particular technologies and are interested in exploring ways that they might uh, be useful in their own teaching. To that end, the Center for Teaching hosts a number of educational technology working groups for faculty, students, and staff interested in exploring technologies um, across a range of disciplines. Uh, topics of these groups have included online collaborative timeline tools, uh, bring your own device classroom response systems, and the use of course blogs uh, in teaching, helping students write for each other or for a wider audience on the open web. If you have questions about any of these programs, I'd be glad to answer them. With that, I'm going to hand it over to my colleagues at the Vanderbilt Library. Hi, my name is Cliff Anderson. I'm the Director for Scarlet Communications in the Vanderbilt University Library. As we realign resources to support the strategic plan, we're strengthening liaison outreach to faculty, staff, and students, as well as bolstering support for trans-institutional programs and education technologies. What are the essential functions of a library? A library acquires information, organizes it, interprets it for its community, and preserves it for the future. Today, I'd like to focus on the aspects at the bottom of this figure, interpretation and preservation, because most of our support for education technologies clusters in those quadrants. Librarians have assisted with the development of the new copyright policy for Blackboard, and we're here to help you comply with that policy. As you know, we offer a copyright clearance service that will license copyrighted articles for use in your classrooms. By using that service rather than posting articles directly to Blackboard, you'll make sure we know what you're using for your teaching. These metrics assist us with decisions about journals to acquire, maintain, or discontinue. We'd also be glad to advise you about any potential copyright concerns when you're starting an education technologies project. If you'd like to extend the reach and impact of your digital scholarship, we have a number of open access publishing options available to you. 
For instance, you can publish a preprint or postprint of your scholarly articles in our institutional repository. We also host a number of digital journals and would be glad to consult with you if you're thinking about starting a new open access journal in your field. We're also happy to advise you about open access licenses, particularly if you're thinking about developing open educational resources. For instance, we can help you select the right Creative Commons license for your project, whether you're putting together a PowerPoint deck, a data set, or a website. Hi, I'm Lindsay Fox, the Geographic Information Systems Coordinator for the Vanderbilt University Library. The library also provides guidance and support for digital projects. Over the years, we've assisted with many flagship digital projects on campus, ranging from Steve Baskoff's Bioimages project to major grant-funded projects like Jane Lander's Ecclesiastical and Secular Sources for Slave Societies, which collects fragile documents from around the hemisphere that witness to the migrations of African peoples. The library plays a role not only in assisting with information organization and presentation, but with fostering digital preservation. If you are seeking to expand your understanding of education technologies, we offer workshops at 11 a.m. every Friday in the Central Library. These workshops cover a variety of new tools and techniques in digital scholarship, ranging from the Oxygen XML editor for digital text encoding to basic statistical analysis using the open source R programming language to educational gaming. This block represents Minecraft, a game which we've used to teach students both how to program in Java and also to generate 3D models of gaming artifacts. We also provide instruction on geographic information systems using ArcGIS or open source alternatives like Mapbox. Finally, we teach source control using Git and GitHub. If these tools and techniques pique your interest, we are happy to integrate a version of any workshop into your classroom teaching. For instance, my colleague Sue Ellen Stringer High, our librarian for the Linked Data and Semantic Web, collaborated with Helen Shin, an assistant professor of English, to instruct students how to discern and visualize latent networks within a literary text. We'd be delighted to speak with you and in integrating any of these technologies we teach into your classroom pedagogy. Thank you for your attention. I will now turn the presentation over to the Vanderbilt Institute for Digital Learning. Hi, I'm Gayatri Narasimham from the Vanderbilt Institute for Digital Learning, and today my colleague Oli Molvig and I are going to describe a few of the resources we make available to campus. First is to announce we are making our studio available to faculty, staff, and students on a self-serve model. Designed for ease of use, you will be able to arrive at the studio, select lighting, a template, deliver content, and leave with a finished, high-quality video. Possibilities include a one- to two-person lecture on a green screen, a small group discussion, screen capture, or even a live Skype-style lecture. Wideless preparing tutorials and in-person workshops that can walk you through the use of this facility. In many ways, VIDAL is the exploratory arm of EdTech on campus, and assisting the development of new ideas, tools, or techniques is central to our mission. In a sense, if you have a really neat idea, like a new web tool or an app for student research or really whatever, we want you to come talk to us. It's precisely the what if or is this possible projects we are most eager to facilitate. We can do this in several ways. We can brainstorm with you about what is currently available or technically feasible. We can help you help match you with existing resources and expertise, either at Vital or elsewhere. I'm now going to hand it over to my colleague. Thanks, Gathry. I'm Oli Mulvig with Vital. Speaking of the kinds of projects that Gathry just mentioned, we can provide seed grants for digital learning projects. For example, here are two um, that faculty brought to us that we're able to support. For example, learning old French in a video game environment or midwifery skills through Google Glass, along with many others. We can help you maximize the impact of these kinds of projects, be they in the classroom, across the Vanderbilt campus, or perhaps even beyond. VITAL is also responsible for managing Vanderbilt's open online courses, and thus far, nearly a million students have registered in these programs. We also have a program for graduate students to help explore digital learning. If you are a graduate student or know of anyone who may be interested, please get in touch with us at VITAL. Last fall, we ran a survey of educational technologies being used on campus, and three results jumped out at us. One, our faculty are very engaged in educational technology. Two, we have relatively little idea of what everybody else on campus is doing. And three, prefer to learn from one another. VITAL and the Center for Teaching launched the conversation series to showcase the innovative uses of technology on campus and to inspire new adaptations. Um, here you see some of the examples of things we've done so far, Twitter in the Classroom, um, the Flip Classroom, and some that are coming up, digital narratives, class websites, mapping, and so forth. 
These are not meant to be instructional workshops, but conversations by graduate students and faculty for faculty and graduate students, where we share our successes and often our failures with each other and explore together what is possible. If there are a particular tool or technique you'd like to see addressed, please let us know. But even better, if you use novel digital tools, please volunteer to share them. In closing, I would like to reinforce why all three resources, the Center for Teaching, the Library, and VITAL are here together today. Most new digital initiatives likely will utilize resources from all of us. You should feel free to begin your discussions with any one of our offices, and we will make sure you end up talking to the right people.